Today on IQ Projects is part three on the steel tray build for the 79 series. So to help me get the ute tray off and just to help me lift and stuff around the garage in general, I decided to mount a crane to the main beam through the garage. Not sure whether it's the best idea as far as the structural integrity in the house goes, but that was what we did. So yeah, I forgot to unbolt the tray off the chassis. So let's just skip to where I've got it half lifted off, I guess. All right, I've changed out the tires. I don't even know if I'm in the frame here. I've changed out the tires. Um, so we're back in mullet mode, um, little tires at the back. Yeah, time to drive it out. Um, I guess the good points, it's off, the roof didn't cave in, two good points, I'm alive, I've still got all my limbs, third good point, and it's pretty much where we need it, so, happy days. So once I had the tray off the ute, I got stuck into doing some of those bigger welds on the headboard. Uh, near the cab. Uh, the reason I hadn't done these welds while they were while it was on the ute was because welding spatter and sparks are really bad for safety glass um, or laminated glass. They get stuck in the plastic layer and then they rust and they just look bad. So got stuck in right here. I'm just trying to use up all the gas I had in the bottle um, late one night, and then I went and got another bottle of gas the next morning. Right, it's a couple of mornings later, pissing down rain. I've given myself a day off work, so let's get some done on the U-Tray. Um, behind me here, there's my lights. I'll tell you a bit more about them when I'm putting them in. 
On the tray here, I've got spread out some anchor points because I don't have tie down rails everywhere. So I'll tell you more about them when I'm putting them in. And then I've got this stencil, which I don't know if you can see it from there. Sort of. The lighting's terrible. Uh, so I played around with me resolution and frames per second, and this is the best I can do. So we'll stick with it. So this stencil, um, it's two steps backwards. I designed up a mesh headboard. I'll put a screenshot just here, and it looked pretty cool. Um, you know, hexagonal mesh and half my logo and company logo, all that sort of stuff. And it was sort of groundbreaking Land Cruiser stuff, like every other groundbreaking Land Cruiser. And I thought this is really cool. Sent it off to a CNC plasma cutter guy, and he came back with a quote um, of 500 bucks plus GST. Um, to get it cut out of three mil so i thought blow that um yeah i want a groundbreaking land cruiser but i don't have groundbreaking money so yeah and i mean who does tv shows i suppose but yeah so i did up a new design and my idea is i'll chuck a screenshot of the new design just here my idea is i'll have this big logo which goes the full height of the headboard the opening in the headboard um so that'll tuck up in the corner and come out to sort of here somewhere and down here. Um, and then the rest of the headboard, I'll just put a couple of um, 25 NB tubes in it, pipes. So like one across the bottom, one across up the top. So I'll have nothing in front of the window, which is, yeah, it'll be all right. A couple each side and yeah, smash it together. So I need to get this done today so that I know that I can do it, because if I can't do this, I need to order the other one today, so I can get it before Christmas. But, so yeah, I'm gonna cut this, plasma cut this today, um, and hopefully it works. So after a bit of arts and crafts with the um, cutting out the stencil and tracing it onto a piece of three mil sheet, it's time to get out the plasma cutter and cut it out, ready to weld it into the headboard. There it is, the bloody groundbreaking logo headboard that you always wanted. Um, really jagged edges and stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really stoked with that. Like it's, it looks a million bucks. So with the logo being cut, I moved straight on to cutting a heap of rails to put in the headboard. There's a pretty heavy wall pipe. I don't know the exact thickness, um, but the reason for that is because whenever I put stuff on the headboard, like long lengths of stuff, I mean, this is a work kit, let's be real. I'm gonna be putting ratchet straps around these rails, so I went as heavy as I could afford to. So the next step was to cut some more of that three mil sheet to make myself some little flares on the sides of the tray. The reason I need these is because I made the tray really narrow so that it doesn't stick out past the edge of the cab, but then it's not gonna cover a decent set of tires. So I wanna fit some 
pretty wide muddies on the back of this ute, so I'm gonna make myself a set of flares. I'm not gonna show you too much detail here. You've seen enough of me plasma cutting. Alrighty, so that flare is welded out and I'll just flip the tray back up again because I'm going to put some little stitches in here and just in the center of each sheet just to sort of just to take out that rattle. Um, so yeah, a little stitch down each cross member, only about 30 mil long. Um, yeah, let's get to work. Alrighty guys, so done a quick clean up of the shed last couple of days um, because it's Christmas time. Anyway, time to cut this rear panel. Um, how much you can see of that there. But it's sort of marked up where the lights are gonna go. I'll show you the lights I've got. These are an LED auto lamps thing that I've had sitting around for ages. Um, just a little rectangular light and they're a grommet mount setup. So that squishes into the grommet like that. Um, so it'll recess completely into that panel. I've unwrapped one of them because they come with a stencil um, to cut the holes. But yeah, it's all there and looking pretty tidy. So uh, we're gonna get to and get the plasma going, cut that out and tack it into the back of the tray here and get that all finished up. Let's do it. The rear panel is cut and I've just got it clamped in there for now. Um, the way it worked out, I was going to have the panel sit flush with the back of this bottom um, square, 40 mil square. So it was gonna be sort of set in and on that same 10 degree angle that this back frame is on, if you can see the angle here, sorta, of, not really. But it sort of sat in there and it's nicely square to the deck of the tray. Um, and I like that, it looks good. It's sort of a bit of a happy coincidence um, because now the lights will be up a little bit more angled up and into the, into the face of cars behind me, which is what you want. Um, yeah, and it looks really good. So we're gonna tack it in there and um, yeah, let's get to it. I'm really lucky that my girlfriend Ella wants to get involved with my projects in the shed. Um, here I taught her a little bit more about welding. She already knows how to weld, but I was showing her how to stack dimes and to create a neat seam. Um, but yeah, it's just more fun having someone else in the shed with me. Oh, 
tail light panel is in. Back of the car there. I'll pop the lights in just real quick. Um, they're not all the way in because they're a real pain to get back out once you put them in because um, I've made them really snug fit so they don't fall out because these lights do that. Um, yeah, but Trey is looking pretty smart and yeah, it's really strong. It's a good good thing. So um, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, next week we will continue working on it. I've got to put tie down points in it. I've got to build the toolboxes. Um, yeah, heap of other stuff. I've got to strengthen up where the crane is and finally spray paint it, which will probably be the week after. But don't forget to go across the website archieprojects.com there's some cool stickers on there that's about it anyway cheers guys thanks for watching see you next week